How's it going everybody? This is going to be a video on organizing your tracks. So I've got Pro Tools right here, but really doesn't matter what DAW you're using, of course. And this video doesn't really matter. Uh, the biggest thing is to just organize your tracks into their individual instruments or groups. So like get, put all the drums together, put all the guitars together, vocals together, stuff like that. But first step, first things first is to import your tracks into the session. Pro Tools has a few different options when you do this. Uh, if you already know where the files are and you don't want to copy them, you can just do add. And if you know that the sample rate is going to be the same, if the sample rate's different, you're going to have to convert. And uh, yeah, if you have the files saved on a different hard drive, you may want to copy over to the hard drive that the session is on, but it's up to you. Anyway, make new tracks for all the files, or clips, I guess, what they call it in Pro Tools. Boom, there you go. All imported, and we're done. Just kidding, we have a lot of organization to do. So, let's see, I'm gonna put all the vocals at the bottom. Yeah, let's do that. Gotta make sure I select them all. I'm gonna drag them down. Kill. All right, now I'm going to put all the drums together. And especially in hip hop, the drums are super important. So I like to keep those at the top and then I do bass and then any other instruments and then vocals at the bottom. I also like to color all my tracks the same, just for fun and because it's cute. It also helps to have your file names named the proper thing. I also happen to put in the panning information, which you could do now, but some people like to wait till the end to make sure that the mix is good from a mono perspective and then spreading it out. But I am, I'm importing these tracks from a Logic session, so that's why I already named the files, because I knew I wanted to pan those. I'm going to put the... Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Doesn't really matter. Just keep them all together. I'm going to send these all to a Vox bus, which basically means the signal is going from the track into the bus before it goes to the master bus that all the tracks are going to. This way I can put effects processing on the entire vocal section at once without having to copy it onto each track or channel, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing for these guitar boys. Gonna bus them up. Simple as that. It's also good to solo safe your aux tracks so that if you solo an individual track that's in the aux, it will actually play it. Colored it up, make it cute. And bass is all by itself since there's no other bass tracks, so I'm not going to bother putting that in a bus. Doesn't matter, it's all going to the same place. Now I got my drum boys. I'm gonna put the kick tracks in their own bus because it's the same kick sound that I'm layering together. As you can see, it's not in the first uh, third of the song, but I want them to blend together. So I'm gonna put them in their own bus and then I'm also going to make a drum bus. But I'm going to do the same with the snares as well. And the snappy boys. And it looks like I don't have any hi-hats in this song. Otherwise, they would be there too. <laughs> yeah, this song's kind of minimal.
Same color. Similar to the kick, because I want it to be, you know, the drum bus, but different enough that I'm not going to get them confused or mixed up. Drum bus. And the kick and snare buses are going to feed into the drum bus. It's just signal flow. Signal flow, yo. Okie dokie. So, pretty, pretty much halfway there, getting pretty close. What I'm going to do now is make the master fader that all of my tracks are going to feed into. I'm going to put that at the top just for fun. It doesn't really matter where you put any of these tracks. You can put it at the bottom if you want. In fact, I think I will. Yeah. You, effects that you put on here are going to apply to the entire chain. And... Oh, excuse me. I'm selecting all these tracks because I want them to go to a mix bus before the master bus. That way I can A, B the changes. Once I'm, I make a, a bounce of the master, I can put that into the session and then compare that to my mix and it's a bit easier that way. Uh, excuse me. Solo safe. I'm going to make these the same color. And now, what I'm going to do is check my routing, make, yeah, make sure everything's going to the right place, first of all. But I'm also going to make a beat bus so that I have the vocals and the beat separate. So I can make changes on just the instrumental compared to the vocals. Especially if I wanted to do a dip at like 2k or so. To give vocals a bit more breathing room. That's one way to do it. There's obviously other ways. But that's what I've gone with. Um, yeah, now I'm going to, oop, yeah, just make it look clean, so it's easy, like, when you look at the session, you know exactly what's, what is what, and I got this truck from DK Mixes, but I like to put my buses bigger than the regular tracks, which, you know, makes sense. So I can look at it and see, okay, these are going to there, this is going to there. But I'm also going to create a, a few other sends for reverb and delay. Let's see. Eh, I don't know. I'll just make the new tracks. Sometimes I'll send all the tracks to the buses, but for now I'm just gonna create aux track stereo four of them Oop. hold shift alt if you wanna have it apply to all of them or shift option just gonna name them name them up All right. Now, if I really wanted, I could make templates that do the same reverbs and delays all the time if I really wanted to save time. But, I mean, it's better to do it different song to song, I feel like. Do what the song calls for. Plugins are different. They do different things. But if you have it pretty streamlined, it's not a terrible idea to have templates you have set up. But, eh. Yeah, so if I turn that up, that's going to send signal to that verb bus. 
And same thing for all the other ones, you know. But it doesn't matter where you put them. Well, I mean, it does, like, you have to think about the order. Do I want it to go to the verb first, the delay first, or whatever? But it's the same thing with all the other plugins. The order in which you put them in is the order that they will be processed. <laughs> But yeah, that's my cute little session. That's how I set up most of my sessions in Pro Tools. It's a lot more organized than my Logic sessions. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye. Bye.